Severe thunderstorm watches and warnings in southern Colorado. We were just watching and continuing to watch some pretty nasty storms move on through. In fact, there were some marble sized hail uh, in some areas, even stretching up to golf ball sized hail. Some definite and imminent flash flooding, and we're still watching those move through right now. In fact, our radar just had these widespread nasty showers. Now, we are looking at some of that unsettled weather just north of the I 70 corridor northwest of us, but not likely to continue on for this evening. Here locally, beautiful blue skies over Grand Junction on America's Mattress Live Tower Camp. Over the Mesa, we do have a little bit of those fluffy clouds, and in some of those higher elevation areas, there's still a chance or two for some possible showers tonight and into tomorrow afternoon, Tuesday afternoon. There's still a chance for some showers in the high country as well. We'll see over in Montrose, there's some clouds as we look in the high regions, but mostly sunny and also dry skies expected tonight. That's going to continue, of course, into tomorrow alongside a little bit of some warmer temperatures even compared to what we saw today. We're watching this high pressure that's bringing in above normal temperatures for the majority of the Great Basin and even just north uh, uh, in all of these states. We're seeing temperatures that are 5 to 10 degrees above those averages locally, really only 5 degrees above what we're uh, going to be watching. Uh, and as we get towards the end of the work week, things are shifting. We'll start to track on in some subtropical moisture for a chance for some widespread storms. I'll see the details in those in just a moment. Earlier today, those afternoon highs 91 through Grand Junction, 98 through Moab. So we were almost getting into those triple digits, but not quite. We saw 83 through Montrose, 90 through Delta, which sets us very close to those seasonal averages. Last night was a little bit on that cooler side of things. But again, tomorrow we're going to start to see things increase by just a couple of degrees. 94 expected in Grand Junction before we drop off when that moisture gets tracked on in. We'll start to see some mid 80s even through Saturday staying to be a tad bit cooler, which makes me want to chat about our heat index because it'll even be feeling just a few degrees cooler than what we're actually recording as these kind of thunderstorms move on in. We'll note here that those chances for storms are raising up to 30, 40, 50, 60, even 70 percent through the majority of the forecast region before that tapers off for a drier weekend. Let's take a closer look here. Yes, there's a chance or two for some showers late night tonight, but not much tomorrow afternoon. We'll see some again pretty scattered and isolated through the high country. But let's move on to Wednesday because as that tracks on in, we'll see through Grand Junction just around those morning hours. We might wake up with some wet skies and by that 1 p.m. hour stretching into that 3 p.m. hour, even into those dinner time hours, we're starting to see that become a lot more localized as these storms move on through some moderate rainfall is going to be expected some lightning. There is a chance for some possible hail as well and through that 7 p.m. hour switching on over to those northern mountain areas. As this moves on in Wednesday, there is the chance for some flash flooding. We'll see that here just in that marginal risk. And as we look five days out for the total rainfall that could hit the ground again, this is five days out. We're seeing some areas in those dark greens, maybe a possible inch. But we'll notice in Discovery Auto Group seven day forecast, those temperatures in those mid 90s tomorrow before tapering off as those severe thunderstorms that those lightning storms move on in before a drier weekend ahead with Montrose right behind. Even some low 80s can be expected in the future.